Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss uh, the scheme and solution for the model question paper 1. As I have uh, already discussed the module 1, now I am going to discuss uh, the module 2, which is common to all branches. So you can refer this video and if you have any doubts, you can ask me. And those who are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. In module 2, the given question is expand e power sin x by Maclaurin series up to the term containing x power 4. So, first of all, we should write down x, uh, the Maclaurin series expansion. So, it is y of x equal to y of 0 plus x into y1 at 0 plus x square by 2 factorial into y2 at 0 plus x cube by 3 factorial into y3 at 0 plus x power 4 by 4 factorial into y4 at 0. As they have been asked for x power 4, we are expanding up to x power 4. So, name this as equation star. Now, we are going to find out the for the given function derivatives up to fourth order. So, consider the given problem as y. So, y equal to e power sin x put x equal to 0. So, therefore, y of 0 will be equal to e power sin 0. Sin 0 value is 0. So, e power 0 is 1. So, e power 0 value is 1. So, now find out the derivative of e power sin x. The differentiation of e power sin x is e power sin x into derivative of sin x. Uh, differentiation of sin x is cos x. So, which is equal to as we have defined e power sin x as y, I can write this as y cos x. So, that is what I have written here y cos x. y1 is equal to y cos x. Put x equal to 0, I am going to get y1 at 0. So, which is equal to 1. So, similarly, find out y2 by applying product rule y into derivative of cos x is minus sin x plus cos x into derivative of y is y1. So, put x equal to 0. So, therefore, y2 at 0 is equal to 1. When I put x equal to 0, sin 0, 0 vanishes. Cos 0 is 1 and y at 0 is 1. So, 1 into 1 is 1. So, find out uh, y3. y3 is uh, differentiate these two terms. So, minus y into derivative of uh, sin x is cos x minus sin x into derivative of y is y1 plus cos x into differentiation of y1 is y2 minus uh, sin x since differentiation of cos x is minus sin x into y1. Put x equal to 0, we are going to get y3 at 0. Now, let us simplify this y3. So, y3 can be simplified as minus, so this can be written as y1 since this is nothing but as same as y1. So, that's why we are going with this substitution as minus y1 minus here y1 minus y1 sin x minus y1 sin x is common. So, therefore, it can be written as minus 2 times of y1 sin x plus cos x y2. Why we have done like this simplification is to go with next differentiation. For higher derivatives, we are going with simplification. Differentiation of y1 will be y2 and uh, product of uh, derivative of these two terms will be as follows like this and product of these two terms will be product of these two terms will be here uh, minus sin x into y2 I have combined these two that becomes minus 2 minus 1 becomes minus 3 sin x y2 plus cos x y3. So, simplifying this by putting x equal to 0 we are going to get minus 3. Now, substituting these values called y at 0, y1 at 0, y2 at 0, y3 at 0, y4 at 0 in equation star, we are going to get this expression and this is called the Maclaurin series expansion for the given function y equal to e power sin x. Now, looking at upon uh, the question number 3b, now consider question number 3b, if u equal to f of 2x minus 3y, comma 3y minus 4z, comma 4z minus 2x, then show that partial derivative of 6ux plus 4uy plus 3uz is equal to 0. I will consider the given problem as p equal to 2x minus 3y, q equal to 3x, 3y minus 4z, r equal to 4z minus 2x. Then I am going to find out, find out the total derivative here u is, now u is a function of p, q, r and p, q, r is a function of x, y, z. Now, I am going to find out the total derivative called del u by del x, then del u by del y, then del u by del z. So, that is nothing but 
del u by del, del u by del p into del p by del x plus del u by del q into del q by del x plus del u by del r into del r by del x. So similarly find out del u by del y del u by del z by applying total derivative. We are going to get del u by del x as uh, the, since differentiate p with respect to x we are going to get uh, 2 and q with respect to x there is no term called x so that's why it is 0 and r with respect to x is minus 2. So simplifying this we are going to get uh, ux as uh, 2 del u by del p minus 2 del u by del r. In the required result the value ux is multiplied by 6 so that's why I am going to multiply by 6 and name that as equation 1. So similarly I can find out del u by del y that is what I have written then for the required result multiply by 4 and I will name that equation as 2. Similarly find out del u by del z multiply that equation by 3 and name that as equation 3 and adding all the 3 equation 1 plus 2 plus 3 I am going to get uh, I am going to get the required result as 6 ux plus 4 ui is plus 3 uz equal to 0. Moving on to question number uh, 3c. So 3c is of uh, question on uh, maxima and minima. They have given the function show that the given function f of x comma y 3 is equal to 3x plus y minus uh, y cube minus 3xy plus 1 is minimum is minimum at the point 1 comma 1. You require to show that uh, at this point 1 comma 1 the given function is minimum. So for that reason consider the given function and differentiate partially that with respect to x and y we are going to get fx fy so I have done that and equate those two values to 0 definitely we are going to get the required stationary points as 1 comma 1. So then find out uh, the uh, higher order partial derivative called fxx and name that as a the partial derivative of this with respect to x is we are going to get 6x minus 0 therefore it is 6x and uh, differentiating the fx with respect to y I am going to get uh, minus 3 that is what called b and finally differentiate fy with respect to y again I am going to get that uh, as uh, c equal to fyy which is equal to 6y. We are going to find all the values at 1 comma 1 we are going to find out that values a equal to 6 by giving x equal to 1 and b equal to minus 3 c equal to 6 so therefore we observe that ac minus b square will be equal to 27 which is greater than 0 and also here a is also positive since a is positive and this value ac minus b square is positive we say that the given problem is minimum at 1 comma 1. So writing the statement therefore f of x comma y at 1 comma 1 satisfy the necessary and sufficient condition for minima thus f of x comma y is minima at 1 comma 1. So this is the way to solve the maxima minima problem. Moving on to question number uh, 4a. So here we are required to evaluate limit as x tends to 0 tan x by x whole power 1 by x square and also the next problem is limit as x tends to 0 cos x whole power 1 by x square. Considering the first one and uh, let us consider that as uh, k equal to limit as x tends to 0 tan x by x whole power 1 over x square. When I give x equal to 0, we are going to get tan x by x is 1 whole power 1 by 0 is infinity. So which is an indeterminate form. So we, we shall apply LH rule for this. First as it is of the form 1 power infinity, take log on both the side, apply log on both the side, we are going to get log k equal to limit as x tends to 0, apply loss of logarithm, it will be, it is of the form log a power m log a power m is what m log a so applying this loss of logarithm we are going to get log of tan x by x whole divided by x square then differentiating even when i apply limit here we are going to get log 1 less 0 divided by 0 form once you got 0 by 0 form or infinity by infinity form you can go with lh rule apply l'hopital rule so now applying l'hopital rule here what the rule says that differentiate numerator separately and denominator separately you are going to get limit as x tends to 0 1 a derivative of log of this is 1 by tan x by x into apply quotient rule denominator square numerator is denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator uh, divided by differentiation of x square is 2x 
as limit extends to zero this value is one and you are going to get you are going to get zero by zero form you are going to get zero by zero form again apply lh rule for this what the rule says the differentiate denominator uh, differentiate numerator separately and denominator separately we are going to get this value so substituting uh, the limit at x equal to zero tan x by x is what one so secant square zero is one by three you are left out with log k equal to one by three as we have base e here raised the power by e here uh, therefore the value of k is e power one by three so also i have discussed uh, more problems of this uh, type in module two you can refer my previous video for L'Hopital rule. Moving on to the next question that is a limit as x tends to 0 cos x by uh, cos x whole power 1 over x square. So consider that as k, k equal to limit as x tends to 0 cos x whole power 1 by x square. So when I give limit, your it will be 1 power infinity. Then take log on both the side. Then it will be 0 by 0 form. Then apply LH rule, differentiate numerator, we are going to get 1 by cos x into derivative of cos x is minus sin x divided by derivative of x square is 2x. Now applying the lim uh, limit for this sin x by x is si uh, limit as x tends to 0, sin x by x is 1 and when I give x equal to 0, cos 0 is 1, we are left out with minus 1 by 2. So taking uh, e to the right hand side, it will be k equal to e power minus 1 by 2. 1 over e power square root of 2 is the required answer for the given problem by using LH rule. So, I have solved plenty of problems on this module. You can refer my previous video. Moving on to question number 4c. If x plus y plus z is equal to u and y plus z equal to uv and z equal to uvw, find del of xyz divided by del of uvw. So, which is nothing but you require to find out Jacobian of x, y, z with respect to u, v, w. So, consider the given problem and apply the definition as we have here x, y, z are depending on u, v, w. So, we should express uh, the given problem x, y, z in terms of u, v, w. When I use uh, the value called z in second equation, I am going to get y. And after getting a, a y and z value and implementing those equation in equation 1, I am going to get the value of x. So, after getting the x, y, z, we can go with partial derivative of x with respect to u, v, w. Similarly, y with respect to u, v, w and z with respect to u, v, w. And put that in determinant, we are going to get Jacobian. So, I have implemented those, deter, uh, I have implemented those values under the determinant and expanded that determinant, I am going to get u square v is the required solution for the given Jacobian problem. Moving on to last question that is fourth b, first I have solved fourth c, then I am solving fourth b problem. The fourth b is very simple problem they have provided in uh, model question paper. So, if u equal to tan inverse of y by x, then prove that the value of del square u by del x square plus del square u by del y square. Consider the problem u and differentiate u partially with respect to x twice and partially with respect to y twice since the required problem is given as follows. So, therefore, u x that is del u by del x is nothing but 1 over 1 plus y by x whole square into derivative of 1 over y by x with respect to x is minus y by x square. Simplifying this, I am going to get minus y by x square plus y square. Differentiating this again with respect to x I am going to get 2xy divided by x square plus y square whole square. I will name that as equation 1. Then again differentiate u with respect to y. I am going to get 1 by x whole divided by 1 plus y by x whole square. And simplifying this, I am going to get x by x square plus y square. Differentiate x by x square plus y square with respect to y. Again, I am going to get minus x by x square plus y square the whole square into derivative of denominator is 2y. So, simplifying that, I am going to get minus 2xy divided by x square plus y square. Name this as equation 2 and adding equation 1 and equation 2, we are going to get the solution as del square u by del x square plus del square u by del y square. Since the right hand side terms are opposite signs, so you know that plus a minus a is what? 0. 
Therefore, these two terms get cancelled. You are left out with as 0 is the required solution. So, which is an easiest module. So, you can easily score from this module 20 out of 20. So, if you have any doubts, you can put a comment in the comment box. And if you have, if you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and press like button. Thank you all for watching this video. Wait for upcoming videos.